Time now to connect the dots. When we make the news make sense. Today marks 70 years since the U.S. Supreme Court struck down segregation in schools. Decades later, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. When Brown versus the Board of Education was decided, many thought segregation was over. But that hasn't happened. Let's connect the dots. Right now in America, almost half of all black and Hispanic students go to a school where all of their classmates are students of color. And many of them tend to be in low income areas. In North Carolina, a study by NC State shows schools are more segregated now than they were in the 1980s. It blames the state's voucher program and the recent growth in charter schools. The North Carolina Association of Educators found white students received more than 60% of the state's private school vouchers last year, even though they make up less than 40% of the student population. Charlotte Mecklenburg schools once considered a champion of integration, making sure all students have equal access to good schools. But in the years since, socioeconomic changes in the community created a new kind of segregation, forcing many students of color into schools with fewer resources. And that is Connecting the Dots.